this cut will um, teach you how to add animation to your video for any other thing to add a video or animation to um, convertible or CC whatever in front of me if you want <laughs> um, but um, hold up I'm assuming you have the image already open already so now we're going to open up this save you want to add the animation to um, this one I didn't make this rig my friend did but we'll use it as an example he's zero you might see him around I don't know but alright so we have it open right here right so now let's open your video um, I have a CP9 video I got from YouTube but google it if you want to know how to rip them or whatever um, so we open it up um, select from image only so you can make your video smaller and it'll make the animation go faster we're going to find the spot we want. Um, we're looking for the part where he gets shot with the bullet. Hold up. Batman, rewind this one. That's a good spot. Okay. So now we hold shift. Then we just drag it from here and hold shift and Almost there, almost there. Taking strides, taking strides. Until we find a good spot. Make sure it's like not more than like 15 seconds or 10 seconds. It'll be small and like loud. Just like that. Before you see the animation, like so. All right, we're good. So we press OK now. It's loading it. So now we got the video here. So we press play, pause there. All right. Now we press stop. A little bit first frame. You can edit your video from here. This was too big for this rig, as you can see, and it's widescreen, so we're gonna have to crop and do some other things to it. So, watch. All right. So what we're gonna do is first crop it. So we're gonna get the crop tool, and we're gonna look for a scene with a lot of light, so you can see where the widescreen lines are at, like this or something. See, right here and right here. So. See like a good spot right here. Alright. Ah, I left. Undo crop. No. 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 Oh no. Um right about there. Good. So we crop that. Now we have a smaller file and it'll save a lot of space. So we're going to press control T to resize it to whatever size we want. Oh, that doesn't seem to work. <laughs> um, we're going to go like image, no. We're going to select all frames. all layers select all layers and then control T so you can resize it here if you hold the shift key so it'll be equal like when you resize it not be all deformed or whatever find a good size that you want it's a good size oh no a little bigger Just double click in there, and you see how there's like all this negative space over here. We're gonna get rid of that. So we get the crop tool and put it within the video file. Double click, and there we go. Just like that. Smaller, no black bars, and it'll save space and make it faster. 
and we're going to just throw air in here and select all frames and then put copy frame but now we don't this is very important now um, we look at how many frames it is 116 so we're going to minimize this go to the shape and we have to get 116 frames so we duplicate for about 116 times <laughs> there you go so that'd be a while We get 116. I'm gonna push the movie and play on. So here we are. We have it. Oh, oh, press it too much. Now we gotta delete it, and we got 116. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna select all frames. Now we're gonna paste the frame. Make sure it's two server selection and link out of layers. When you link it, it'll stay together, so when you move it. So now we got the video file here. You can see how it I moved it. Notice how it'll move in all these other frames. So now we got to place it in a good spot or whatever. If it's still a little too big, press Control T. You can resize it more. Make sure we use Shift. Good there. So, and you notice how it says zero seconds. We gotta make that because it'll just stay in the same frame. There's no timer. So, make sure all your frames are selected and um, go to I any one of these frames and go to the seconds and put. Well, for me, it's gonna be 0 0.2 for each frame. But whatever setting you want is fine. So if you want all of them stay 0 0.2, and make sure you put it as forever so it'll continue to loop down. The image will start all over when it's finished. Alright, so now we're going to animate it. See how the video is moving right there? Alright, that's a good thing. So we're pretty much done. Now we just got to go to File, Save Optimize as. Sharp Thirty Two. All right. Make sure it's saved optimized as. So, if not, it won't come out animated. But we're saving it. Still saving. It might take a while, you know, because it's a little video. So it's done. Let's go check it out now. Find the file. Open it. And if it's animated, you're done. It's animated. Uh, hope you like the tutorial. You can use it as other stuff or whatever. Well, make sure you visit Fusix, I guess. Fusix.com. Alright. Peace out.